day, day learners. learners. This is Teacher G. She is Teacher Mary. How's life going on? In this waiting period, we will be dealing about biology. It's all about living things. Human, animals, plants, and microorganisms are some examples of living organisms. They are of different appearance, function, lifestyle, and habitat. The things common to all of them, they have what we call life. For our males, explain the advantage of high biodiversity in maintaining the stability of an ecosystem. Describe the transfer of energy to tropic levels. Biodiversity may be defined as the totally of different organisms, the genes they contain, and the ecosystems they form. It refers to the number of biological species that exist in each region. High biodiversity means that our region supports a wide variety of species, while low biodiversity implies that an area supports only a few. The reasons for variances in biodiversity are complex, but they include both natural and man-made causes. The flow of energy is the most important factor that controls what kind of organism live in an ecosystem. In this video, you will learn the importance of high biodiversity in maintaining the stability of the ecosystem and how an organism obtain energy and how energy becomes transferred from one organism into another organism. Let us explore the importance of biodiversity to ecosystem by answering this activity. Compare and contrast the pictures of the ecosystem below. When an ecosystem has a high number of species present, it means that it has a high biodiversity. The high number of species ensures the stability of an ecosystem because it has a better chance of coping with environmental stressors such as floods, droughts, and diseases. The variety of the species means that when there is a decrease in the population of one species, other species can compensate for their loss, thus minimizing the effect of the environment. In biodiversity, we can observe the transfer of energy by consuming food. This is what we call a food chain. A food chain shows the sequence of how energy is transferred from one organism to another. Organisms in a food chain observe a feeding position called trophic level. Trophic level is a step in a nutritive series of an ecosystem. The organisms at each level are classified into based on their feeding behavior. The amount of energy at each trophic level decreases as it moves through an ecosystem. Now, let's answer another activity to determine your understanding about food chain. For activity number two, given the list of living and non-living things below, construct, complete the food chain in each proper series of eating and being eaten relationship. For our guide questions, question number one. Which organism in the food chain can manufacture their own food? Okay, for the answer, grass. Which consumer feeds directly on plant? The answer is grasshopper. Number three. Which consumer received the greatest amount of energy? The answer is primary consumer or the grasshopper. Question number four. Why are secondary consumer called as carnivores? The answer is, most of the secondary consumer eat other animals. Question number five, which organism receives the least amount of energy and why? The answer is owl because owl is the last consumer in the pyramid. 
Always remember the diversity of plants and animals ensures a steady supply of food that can be consumed by other organisms in a food chain. Imagine if all organisms depend only on one organism for food and this organism becomes extinct. All organisms that depend on it will not be able to survive. The diversity of organisms also plays an important part in the reproduction of many plants. The hybrid biodiversity of organisms provides many different benefits. Thus, maintaining this is very essential to ensure security of future generations. The energy pyramid indicates the total amount of energy present in each tropic level. It also shows the loss of energy from one tropic level to the next. An energy pyramid shows clearly that the energy transfer from one traffic level to the next is accompanied by a decrease due to waste and conversion of potential energy into kinetic energy and heat energy. To end this video, let us answer the last activity. Identify the words being described. Choose the words given in the box. Feeding relationship that exists among organisms. Yes, food chain. Number two, refers to each step in the transfer of energy and matter in a community. Correct, trophic level. A community or group of living organisms that live in and interact with each other in a specific environment Correct. Ecosystem. Number four. A diagram that compares the energy used by producers, primary consumers, and other tropic levels. Yes. Energy pyramid. Last number. Has high number of species living in an ecosystem. Very good. High biodiversity. This is the end of our discussion. Always remember, save life, save earth. Bye-bye.